Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about nested if else statement. Now when an if else statement lies inside another if else statement then it is known as nested if else statement. This type of statement is used in situations where we check for a condition depending on the result of another condition. For example, we provide a boolean expression with if statement then another boolean expression inside the block of the previous if statement and an else with this boolean expression. There is an else for the first boolean expression and if else inside this else. So what will happen? The boolean expression 2 will be evaluated only when the boolean expression 1 is true. And if the boolean expression 2 is false, then only the else block attached with this if will be executed. Similarly, the else block here will be executed only when the boolean expression 1 is false. And that's why boolean expression 3 will be evaluated only when the boolean expression 1 is false. For example, find out the largest of three numbers or printing divisions like first, second or third division as per the percentage obtained by a student. The same can be achieved with nested ternary operator. So we will see how we can achieve the same with a nested if else statement and with a nested ternary operator. So guys we have discussed the same in apex programming level 1 where we discussed about decision control structure. Now to find out the largest of three numbers this is the logic which I explained with the help of a flowchart. So we will start and we will take those three numbers and then we will compare the first two number. Number one is greater than number two. Now definitely this particular condition can evaluate to true or may evaluate to false. In case this expression evaluates to true then we check for a condition like number one is greater than number three cause if this this condition is evaluating to true definitely number one is larger number and if this expression evaluates to false then number two is the larger number and that's why we are checking number two with number three. Now both these conditions can be true or can be false so in case this expression is true definitely number one is the largest number as number one was already greater than number two and in case if this condition evaluates to true then number two will be the largest number. In case this evaluates to false or this one evaluates to false then definitely number three is the largest number. In any of the case we are finally going to stop. So the whole so logic of finding out the largest of three number is first compare the first two numbers and then compare the larger of the two numbers with the third number. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. So guys here we are in our developer console and let's create a program to find the largest of three numbers. So guys here is our program you can see we have created a class largest of three inside which we created a check method accepting three numbers as parameter. We created one largest variable as well to hold the largest value. Now here we are having an if else statement. Now here we are checking number one is greater than number two. If this condition is true this certain block will be executed. If this condition is false this else block will be executed. Now let's see the if block. Now when we are inside this if block it it means that number one is already the larger of the two. Now we are comparing here number one with number three. So in case number one is greater than number three definitely number one is going to be the largest number otherwise number three is going to be the largest number. Now in case the first condition becomes false it will come to this else block and here we are comparing number two with number three. If this condition is true number two is the largest number otherwise number three is the largest number. Finally we are printing out the largest variable over here as the largest of the three number. Now let's see the output of this program. So guys you can see we are calling the largest of three class with the check method and passing 10, 20, 30 as a parameter. Now click on execute and you can clearly see it is printing 30 is largest of 10, 20 and 30. Now it doesn't matter in what 
order you are passing the values let's suppose i'm passing 100 20 and 30 and clicking on execute definitely 100 is the largest of the three so this program is working fine now let's do the same program with help of a nested ternary operator so guys if you remember with the ternary operator we have two operators one question mark and a colon before this question mark we provide the first condition so our first condition was num1 is greater than num2 so let's provide it over here so num1 is greater than num2 definitely when this condition is true we are going to have a condition or another check over here and when this condition is false we will provide another check over here i am using this parenthesis for more readability you can remove this as this is not a compulsory in this statement now definitely when we are between this question mark and colon we will work for the true statement of this condition so here we are going to check num1 is greater than num3 of course this will also have a question mark and colon in case this condition is true we are going to return num1 and in case this condition is false we are going to return num3 the same kind of check would be here but here we are going to check it with num2 and definitely when the condition is true we will return num2 otherwise num3 so here is our nested ternary operator a ternary operator inside another ternary operator and this can also give us the same kind of result if you are using this parenthesis definitely it's going to be easier to form these kind of nested ternary operations but as i told you they are not compulsory so you can remove these parenthesis as well so i'm removing it and after removing it will look something like this definitely it's less readable than the previous form but it's going to give us the desired result so let's run this program and I'm running it for 100 20 and 30 and let's click on execute and you can see 100 is the largest of these three so this is working fine now let's create a program to find out the division according to the percentage obtained by the student and before I move on to do it with nested ternary operator, let me do it with multiple if statement. And let me show you how it's not going to give us the desired result and why we need a nested if else statement. So guys, here is our program. As you can see, I have used multiple if statement over here. And in this program, I'm passing five values as decimal values, which are representing marks in five different subjects. I'm adding these marks to attain the total marks. And then I'm dividing the total by five to attain the percentage. I have created a string variable division to store the division obtained by the student and finally I am printing out the total marks, the percentage and the division. Here I am using the set scale method with this decimal variable just to have only one value after the decimal point. Now here you can see I am checking if the percentage is greater than equals to 60, division is first division, if it is greater than equals to 50, division is second division, if it is greater than equals to 40 division is third and if it is less than 40 it is fail so let's run this program so guys here i am passing five decimal values and you can see these decimal values are here and all the values are above 70 definitely the total percentage should be greater than 60 and definitely it should be first division so let's click on execute but here you can see the remark is giving me third division though the percentage is 74.3 now what's the reason before i tell you the reason let me run it one more time or actually two more time now you can see this time i have passed the marks greater than 50 and it should be second division let me click on execute and you can see it's printing third division again though the percentage is 54 and according to the condition it should be second division now what's the reason because of this multiple if this problem is happening now when i got 70 definitely 70 is greater than 60 division was assigned with first division but after checking this condition it will check this condition as well and 70 is greater than 50 as well that's why it was reassigning it to second and checking the third condition as well and 70 is greater than 40 as well so it will print third division over here definitely this is the issue and that's why when i was getting 74 percent still i was having third division even with 
54% I was getting third division because those values were greater than 40 and this was the third condition to be checked and the third assignment to the division variable. We can resolve it with the help of logical operator. Suppose we want to run it, we can give a condition over here like percentage is greater than equals to 50 and percentage is less than 60. Similarly here we can provide and percentage is less than 50 and the issue will be resolved. If I will run the same program again this time I will get the correct output but still it is not the ideal way of writing the program I will come to that point let me run this program first and now I am running it for 50 greater than 50 case that means for second division and now I can see it is giving the correct output but as I told you this is not the ideal way why Let's suppose I got 70%. The first condition is true. I got the first division, but still the program is going to check the next three conditions. Though the program got the result, but still we are checking the next condition, which is not ideal because we are consuming CPU time. So a nested if else statement is ideal for those situations where the next condition will only be checked when the previous condition is false and it's not going to check when the previous condition becomes true. So let me change this whole program into a nested if else statement. So guys here I have created another program to show you the nested if else and now you can see I'm checking the next condition inside an else. So definitely these conditions, the all these conditions will only be evaluated if this condition is false. Let's move on. You can see there is a if statement and then the next condition is inside the else. That means those conditions will be evaluated when this one is false. And similarly this last else block will be executed only when all the previous conditions are false. So this will give us the desired result. Let me show you that. So I'm running it for the second division right now so let's click on execute and you can see it is printing the correct result let me run one more time and this time for someone who failed and let's click on execute and now you can see it's working fine so that marks the end of this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care